Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Rise of Nations, where we are mounting a bunch of Cossacks. Cossacks, they are good. I like them. Anything we need? Oh, we could stand to improve our commerce limit. Should probably research science before we do that. Make things cheaper. Alright, so, no point in trying to siege out that castle, but... I think Samarkland's the better way to go. We can't just dive right for the capital. We don't have the firepower to go right for the throat. Ah, uh, there's the Terracotta Army troops. Yeah, the tricky part is selecting it all without selecting the damn villagers. Good, okay. I think I got it all. Yeah, I did. Good. Cool. Warner fifty, alright. Order attack again. No surprises. Some slide. They have a general. Silly. Very good. Cool. Working out pretty well. And we should, we'll get mercantilism soon, which is good. Uh. Alright, come on now. There we go. Alright, we have supply wagons, we've got a bunch of trebuchets, we got reinforcements from the Terracotta Army. Now is the best time to attack, I think. So we're going to do this time go for Smarkwind. Smarkwind. Whatever you want to fucking call it, I don't care. We're going to use this as our staging ground, then begin to siege their capital. Put the supply wagons up. Get the attrition off the horses. We've got the advantage on them for now, but I don't know how long that lasts. Keep supply wagons spread out. Monarch. Alright. We've killed their monarch. Good. That'll slow him down a little bit. Alright. Everyone stay nice and close here. Yeah, there you go. Let's not get too close to that city until we have to cap it. Don't let them flank us. Hold the flank, Cossacks. We have humbled that city into the ground. Very good. Let's get them over here. This guy provides a morale bonus, so... Get him in close to the fighting and all. Okay, they only have crossbowmen left. Who counter with knight or lead German engineers. City captured. Yep. Move him in. Move in, take over the city. Yeah! Alright. We've cracked them open. Like a nut. All reinforcements should now arrive soon. Okay. That's fine. Now just stay near here. Uh, stance. Defensive. Our two remaining trebuchets are fine. We're going to work on trying to take out some of their military if we can. Shouldn't be too far. Yeah, there we go. We got supplies here. Alright, I'm just going to try and get in. There. Alright, so the city's assimilating. I have no idea how long until that stable goes down, so I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to keep them off the trebuchets until then. Kozak, you stay back. Okay, the stable's done. Keep it up. Now we rain hell on their siege. 
keep the city assimilation up. Yeah, they're going after the trebuchets. I should build some more. I know things are taking... Oh yeah, you can upgrade to bombards. Fuck. Upgrade to bombards first. Nice basic cannon unit. Always good. And... Wow. That trebuchet lived. Assimilated. Very good. Alright. See if you can't... Uh, Get ready to fight, eh? Bombard! La, 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 la. All right. They clearly have other cities, but we've moved into the middle of their territory and captured the city. So this is still pretty going for the throat. kind of hoping that I'd be able to, you know, phase their resource and come out a little bit, but they still managed to provide lots of troops. It's always an impressive feat. Alright, go for the woodcutter camp. Take that out as best we can. We don't have seed weapons, there's no point in trying. I got that bombard. Citizen, begin the repairs on the city. 100 wealth, good. I'm kind of hoping that a bombard will get here soon. Yeah, you just sat it there and took a bunch of attrition. Good job. Because we're useless against buildings without it. Like, I'm trying to. Execute the workers. Kill off enough, enough workers, and we can harm their economy. Pretty badly. Alright. The siege continues. The bombard is almost here. Good. Alright, it's Mark one's pretty well healed. Okay. Good work. Okay, university. Research the printing press and all that. Good. Uh, let's see. Upgrade to bunker. Should start working on that. We're at our uh, commerce gap there. So it's funny. All right, the second bombard arrived. I'm gonna move in and try and go for the kill here. I can't see a fucking barracks anywhere, so we'll do it. Well, push back, fall back. Damn, we lost that bombard. That's okay though. The three will be, or no, we only have two. Damn. Here's the third one. Or a third one. They just fucking cloaked. Right in fucking front of me. Those cheap bastards. Alright. I've stopped training uh, stable units. Okay. Good. We are in desperate need of reinforcements out here as our cannons are just being cut down where they stand. Withdraw! Can you not garrison? I guess you can't. You, can you garrison? Nope. In that case, get citizens. Garrison. Citizen Defense Force. 
Well, the assault didn't go so well, sadly. The troops stopped flowing for a little while. Much less uh, damage in the national border this region, thankfully. Uh, pumping out the civic tech. That last one's expensive as fuck. Jeez. But yeah, at least if we can get the branches of government here, that's fine. The goal here is just to try and connect the national borders we can to reduce attrition to bare minimum. Citizen garrisoned. Uh, two out of two, good. Takes four citizens to uh, fully garrison a city. Or a small town, at least. Observation post. That's not. Hey! Russian borders. Lol. Alright, so they have a city to our north we could attempt to capture, I suppose. Though I don't really have any interest in doing that. Alright, bombard. We need more of you. Fall back and retreat. Let them into the territory. And more, most importantly, into the range of, of the city. The city will fight now. Yeah. I know. Fuck them. We have cannons. If they want to sit out there, that's fine. Pick out that supply cart. Lol. That's what I'm good at. Alright, take out their king. Alright, no point in chasing the king around. Continue to execute the workers. Pikeman. Not exactly brilliant. Alright, they're all executed. Good. Shang Tu. So they have another city right there, I see. Tight formation of cities, jeez. The Lombards are coming. Okay. No more metal. We don't even have any mines, so I'm not even mad. We gained a decent amount of metal. Social contract and monotheism. Again, more taxation. Improvements to borders. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's build a temple here. Yeah. We're barely experiencing any damage. How the fuck did they... I don't know. Yeah, fine, attack the city, I don't care. <laughs> that just means a bombard that isn't attacking me. Alright, cool. So getting a hold of the temple will be invaluable. Ah. The fucking monarch is cloaking bullshit. No, don't hunt it. goal here is to try and force this into one, becoming a large city, and two, with the temple, that redraws land borders. Putting that tower squarely in my territory where it will take attrition damage. Perfect. Again, also opens this corridor up. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's happening. Are those our bombards? Oh, we were shooting at an explorer. Okay. It's just checking. Now! Any other news? We are in desperate need of pumping more stable units out here. Okay, we need more food and wood. That's fine, we go to a market. Buy some more wood, since it's cheap. Buy some food. Believe me, I will pay. 
Honey, I will pay. Done. Okay. So that's the majority of our army taken out. Oh, no, wait. It's up here. There's some still left. The problem is I can't fucking protect my bombards long enough to do any damage. Plus the hit-and-run tactics. I'm not the only one who can do them. I'm just better at them. This is a national bonus and all that. How much damage do we get off on that lumber mill? A decent amount. Okay, how much do we need? 140, okay. Alright. God damn it. Stop falling for it. Alright. Trenches, barracks, units near the general, and trenches near the barracks, much of the damage they receive from enemies in front of them. And from slash damage, regardless of the direction. Got it. Yes. Crossbowmen, you can kill. That is, in fact, your job. You should also kill that caravan. Like, that's just blatant, dirty trick tactics that they're doing. That's. I don't think that's a city, I think it's just actually a castle there. Hard to tell without a scout. You're a new scout. Congratulations. Oh no, wait, that's a farm right there. So there is a city right here. Okay. It is isolated. Should I go after it though? That's a question. That's hard to say if I should go after it. One one of the bombards getting here, alright, so starting there. That's fine. Okay. God. I'm basically doing what Germany's job here. I'm being overextended in the middle of enemy territory. This and Smarkland is turning into Stalingrad. At this rate. God damn, this is not how you I should have abandoned Smarkland long ago and raised the city to the ground. Other things can do. Something I should have done. Shoulda woulda coulda though. Alright. Now we're going to ignore Smockland. It can defend itself for at least a little while. I hope it can. Meantime, take out that tower. Fly lines move in. Lol. That's the barracks and a siege factory they have there. No way. It's fucking sitting in the middle of our territory, so they can't repair it. And of course, they're flanking, as they fucking always do. Ah. That is their strategy. They flank and they take out my siege shit. And then I can't take their cities. It's a good strategy. Why the fuck did I... Are there that many built up? That I have to wonder. I don't know. Those are enemy bombards. And half of them are fucking cloaked. Great. There. Royal bonus. Love it. Right. Okay, so final. Get revolution. They upgrade their civics again, so it sucks, but it's hard to drag the national borders any close any closer to their friggin' city. This is another temple upgrade. Yes, there is. In that case, we shall use it. Alright, I'm gonna have the guy stationed back there. So we can see if they happen to come from that direction. In the meantime, we're gonna go over here. Try and finish burning these buildings to the ground here. Reduces their capacity to fight a little more, which is always nice. Yeah, there we go. That's collapsed in about as far as you could help, really. There's nothing garrisoning this city. We can just walk up to it and fuck it. I didn't even notice. 
So I got the uh, flank protection there. If they want to fight Smarkland, they can. Like, go right the hell ahead. I designed it to be hard to fucking fight. Alright, city's almost reduced. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. But I think we pulled it out here. Shaking at least a second city for them, so. That's really gonna hurt them. Put the hurt on them a little more. Reduced. Alright. Slaughter. Put them to the slaughter. Alright, they got my bombard, so what? I don't care. I like how the auto worker thing has figured out that it was a good idea to put it on the metal. Good work. Because it's the least one I have. Or the one I have least of, I should say. Oh, what's the matter? Got some use to north. Leave a small squad behind the garrison. Make sure they don't pull any shenanigans to retake their city. Still scholars and everything everywhere. Yeah, your monarch ain't gonna save you here. Sorry. Smarkland's, you know, we're easily winning the fight there. What little fight there is. Alright. So, we need to set up military production here. Seriously. We need a siege factory. Something I often neglect to do is set up proper supplies. And, one, and a form of supply is putting my production literally right here. So, that's fine. I use this, so we've pretty much got, you know, the borders pushed back to their cities. Which is fine. This is the power of being Russia. Yeah. Alright, so this new seed workshop will do wonders for us. Oh yes. Alright. A ceiling I am going to raise. Must raise all civilian buildings in the city. Fine. Only one building at a time the city can be raised. Interesting. I've never raised cities before. I don't see much of a point to raising cities, but I'm starting to get it. Well, I'm going to be ending this episode here, so thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Galvin, signing off.